Water hardness is a serious issue due to the expenses incurred by replacing plumbing or electrical appliances, including kettles. It is caused by a buildup of calcium and magnesium ions, which precipitate as carbonates. Complexometric titrations can be utilized to determine the amount of calcium and magnesium ions present in water. This involves the reaction between a metal ion and a ligand, which forms a chelate. One such ligand is EDTA, which works best at high pH, usually greater than 10. Indicators are usually organic dyes. However, for EDTA titrations, we use metallochromic indicators. These indicators contain a light-absorbing group. The aim of the experiment is to determine the amount of calcium and magnesium ions present in tap water by a complexometric titration. As demonstrated in A1, you will weigh out 0.46 grams of EDTA by difference. You will then transfer your EDTA powder into a beaker and dissolve it with some deionized water. Ensure that the water is deionized as your sample is tap water. Once the solid has dissolved, you're going to transfer it into a 250 ml volumetric flask. Ensure that you rinse out the beaker at least three times with deionized water and transfer it to the volumetric flask. You will then fill up the flask halfway with deionized water. Stop it and swirl it to dissolve the rest of the liquid. Once it's dissolved, you are then going to top it up to the mark with deionized water. Ensure that you don't overshoot the graduation mark. You are then going to stop at the volumetric and invert it 10 times to ensure that the solution has homogenized. This is now your standard EDTA solution. You will then prepare your burette as you've done in A1 using your EDTA solution. Ensure that you have no air bubbles in the jet. Thereafter, you will use a 100 ml pipette and pipette some tap water into a conical flask. Ensure that you do not pass the graduation mark of 100 ml. Once you've got 100 ml in your pipette, you will then transfer it to your conical flask. For part A, you will take 3 ml of a pH 10 buffer solution and add it to your tap water sample. You will then swirl it to ensure that it has mixed appropriately. Thereafter, you will weigh out approximately 0.1 grams of the aerochrome black tea indicator using a rough balance. Take your aerochrome black indicator and add it to your sample and dissolve. the solution will turn to a pale purple color or a wine color. You are now ready for your titration. 
as you've seen in A1, you will then start your titration by performing a rough titration and three other titrations. You will record the initial volume of your burette. Your dominant hand is on the tap, while your less dominant hand is swirling the beaker or the conical flask. You are then going to open the tap and start your titration. You will monitor the color of your solution until it turns a pure blue color. Once it reaches blue color, you will wash off your jet with some DNS water, and thereafter, record your final volume. You will perform a rough titration and three other titrations as demonstrated in A1. You will then record your initial volume, thereafter, preparing to titrate with your dominant hand. You will open the tap and swirl the conical flask while keeping an eye on the color. The color will change from a wine color to a pure blue color. You will then wash off the jet with some deionized water and record your final volume. As previously done in part A, you will prepare your burette using your EDTA solution. You will then transfer 100 ml of tap water to a conical flask using your 100 ml pipette. You will now add 5 ml of a 0.1 molar solution to your conical flask and mix the solution. You will then measure out 0.1 grams of your Mirexide indicator and transfer that to the flask and dissolve. As performed in part A, you will take your initial volume and start your titration. You will notice the pink color go into a purple color. You will then wash your jet off with some deionized water and record your final volume. As done in part A, you will record your initial volume on your burette. Thereafter, you will start your titration. The pink color will change to a purple color. You will then wash the jet with some deionized water and record your final volume. Data analysis. You will need to calculate the concentration of your EDTA solution using your accurate mass of EDTA. You then will report the molarity of calcium and magnesium. Report the molarity of calcium determined by the EDTA titration. Hence, report the molarity of magnesium. Finally, you will report the total hardness in terms of PPM calcium carbonate and hence classify the hardness of your water sample.